Hey everyone, it's Steve. Welcome. In this video, I hope to show you how to set up your Polycom VVX voice over IP phone with uh, call centric. I call it a Polycom phone. More recently, the name has been changed to Poly. So if your phone just says Poly, that would also be applicable. So this is the VVX series phones. All right. So if you have not done already, go to the call centric website and create an account. Um, there's a link provided there in the description for you. Also in this video, if you're watching it on YouTube, I've tried to implement chapters, which you can find in the description uh, that will allow you to kind of fast forward to the spots. Like if you've already done certain things you already know how to do, just go forward on the chapters. All right. So in the call centric web page or the portal, you would have already created an account and you would have added some at least a few dollars of funding, right? So before we dive into the phone, what you need to do is go over here to extensions. So see right here where it says extensions, go to extensions and you need to create an extension. Now you have a default extension already, but for setting up this phone, I want to make a new extension. So click add new extension. And then you have a list. I think, I don't know how high list this list goes. Yeah, up to 50 different extensions. All right, so just pick whatever you want. So I'm going to pick 101, and I'm going to give it a password. And I highly recommend that you use a fairly strong password. The reason why is because SIP accounts sometimes get hacked, and so you don't want to just have your password be something like, you know, password123 or something like that, right? So maybe use an online password generator or something like that. Now, this internal calling name, that's just a name that would appear from one phone to another if you were calling another call-centric user. So I'm just going to call this internal extension. You call it whatever you want and give it, give it your name. One thing I will say about call-centric, while it's a very affordable service and it is very simple to set up and use, it's not the greatest when it comes to a lot of internal transfers. So if that's something that's going to be important to you, you might want to look at a different provider. And I've, I've Got some videos I'm working on with some different providers that that handle the 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 station to station transfers a little better. All right, caller ID. Uh, chances are you don't have anything in here except the default. So what happens is as you either purchase phone numbers from Call Centric, or if you do what's called the uh, the CNAM spoofing. That's I'll talk about that later. You you'll see them in the drop down. But for now, just choose whatever the default is. Uh, let's see. All this other stuff can just be default. And let's just go with that. So save that. So we're gonna we're gonna need some of this information here in a minute. Specifically, we're gonna need this username up here at the top. So see, it's my account number plus 101 at the end and that password. All right. So let's save that. Now what we want to do is we want to take our browser and browse to the Polycom phone. So you've got your Polycom phone is plugged in on the network and it's powered up. Now it has an IP address and I have a video about how to get the IP address, but I'll just tell you just kind of quickly how you can do that. But you can also go check the video, which I'll leave you a link for. But what you do is you hit the home key on the phone and then you hit settings and status network and then TCIP parameters and you'll see the IP address in there. So mine is 192.168.1.213. Yours will probably be different. So open up a browser, HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash 192.168. For me, it's going to be 213. Whatever your IP address your phone showed you when you went in and checked the uh, the IP address. All right, so hit enter. Now you may get a pop up about your connection is not private. That's okay. Look for something that will let you click on advanced and go forward. So like this is Google Chrome. If I click advanced, I click proceed. Even though it says it's unsafe, um, you're fine if you're using if you're you know, using the Polycom uh, web uh, web address, the this IP address. All right, so the password should be 456. If 456 doesn't work, in other, words, in other words, if you have admin radio button checked here and you put in 456, 456, and then you click submit, if that's not working, it means the phone needs to be defaulted. And I've got a link uh, in the description on where you can um, you can go to find out how to default the phone. All right, so then what we want to do is come to settings. And the first thing we need is lines. So, all right, so settings, come down to lines. And under line one, which should already be highlighted by default, so you can have like line one, line two, et cetera. But anyway, on line one, we want SIP enabled right there, the, the very first spot right there. Then come down to identification. And here's where we need to put in some stuff. 
So display name is just, again, it's that name that would appear uh, if you were to call from one phone to another. Uh, it oftentimes gets overridden by, uh, by other settings. So it's not that critical, but the address, that's gonna be critical. So come back to your call centric, grab that account number. Okay, grab that account number from the extension we just made. All right, copy that, come back here, paste that in address. Also paste it down here in third party. And then back here, label, that's just the label that will appear on the screen next to the button. So like on a 500 and a 600, there are no physical buttons, but you'll kind of see them like represented as like little lighted fields on the phone. But if you have a like a 310 or a 410 or a 300, you'll have physical buttons. So whatever you want that to be. So for instance, if you want that to be main or, or if you want to give it a name, it's just what appears on the button. It has nothing to do with caller ID. All right, the number of line keys, that's how many buttons do you want to have that line on? So one is usually fine, but if you like to have two, you can change that to two. And then this is all default. So all this, all the rest is default. All right, so then come down here to authentication. And for the domain, put in sip.callcentric.com. Wait a minute. Sorry, sip.callcentric.net. Sip.callcentric.net. The user ID is going to be your account number again, that, that extension account number. So copy that paste that there. Then remember the password that you created earlier? You're gonna need that again. So whatever password you, when you made that extension, whatever password you put there, that's what you need, all right? So come back over here, put your password in. And let's see, and then let's go down to SIP server one. And this is going to be um, this is going to be the sip.callcentric.net. So sip.callcentric.net, and then the port here is going to be five zero six zero. So five zero six zero. Change the transport to UDP only. And I believe actually these are thirty six. 60 by default or 36, whatever's here by default, just go ahead and leave it. I think this is left over from uh, some settings I did earlier, but whatever is in the expires, the subscription expires, just, just leave that. And that's it. All right, so click save and say yes to the configuration changes. And then if you did it right, what will happen is the phone might reboot, uh, but if it doesn't reboot, what you want to look for is on the phone itself, you should see uh, two lines. Well, we did two. If you, if you chose one, you would just see one. And it should have like a little check mark on the line. So if it's a 500 or 600, you'll have like a little green circle with a check mark in it, which means it's ready to go. And if you push that line, you should hear dial tone and you should be able to dial a phone number. Now, a call centric, you need to dial, like in the US, you need to dial one plus the area code and phone number. All right. If you don't have a green check mark or, or you know you can't get dial tone, then recheck these settings again. So make sure that on your extension that you you've got the you've got the right username right here. So it's your account number plus whatever three digit extension you chose at the end. So like here's the account number plus 101, and then make sure your password is correct. All right, and then again just go back and recheck these settings again, all right? There is one other possible thing, actually, now that I think about it, one other thing that could possibly be affecting uh, the inability of it to register, and that is in preferences and date and time. Most of your networks will offer an IP address uh, through the DHCP uh, offer, but just in case, set the time synchronization to pool.ntp.org and save that. And then if it's still, if you're sure all the settings are right and it's still not getting out, uh, there might be something blocked, meaning that the, maybe the router or switch or firewall has got 5060 blocked or, or maybe even the website is being blocked. Um, or it's possible that there's just still some kind of a network connectivity issue. What you can try doing is taking the phone and moving it to another network. Like if you're at your work and it's not working, take it home. Try it at home, see, see if it works at home. 
yeah, so that that's it. All right. Well, I appreciate your time. Thanks so much for watching.